Okay, go on. I'm kidding. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel if you've not subscribed to us yet be sure to hit that red button so you can be a part of the family and be sure to give this video a thumbs up after you're done watching it because I know you really really like it Absolutely. and don't forget to share it with family and friends as well mm. okay cool so today I have my cousin be sure to subscribe to her channel crown your main i'm going to write it somewhere here and i will leave the link to her channel in the description box below it's a really great channel especially for those who love natural not even natural hair healthy hair yeah and um a lot more other fun topics so don't forget to subscribe to hers too it's for free eating. yeah we're Sorry. gonna be eating yeah. <laughs> nice delicious hungry lion which um, is home to SA and to Zambia. We're going to be discussing some of the differences between South Africa and Zambia. And yeah, let's get into the video. Yeah. Besides the fact that we're all positioned differently, I mean, oh, Zambia is Zambia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Comfy, it's so funny. No, I'm glad you got that one out of the way. And Zambia has a creative name. I mean, South Africa really just says it's like directionally hey, like I the know. South of Africa. True. <laughs> like there's That's no the creativity. Most they could do, honestly, like South <laughs> Africa. I never thought of that. Mm. How would you say? I could say like your university experience or universities in Zambia are for you. Oh. <sighs> I was thinking like when I was getting ready, I'm probably mm -hmm. not the best, the first. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm not the best person to yeah. bring to do this on this channel because I'm not like the most patriotic Zambian. Mm. So like disclaimer, if it's all shade, like deep in my heart, I do love my country, but I may not like say the most grand things. I'm really sorry. That's like in advance. Yeah. I went to Mulungushi University mm -hmm. in Kabwe. Kabwe is like a really small town. It's basically like a stopover town when you're traveling. I've seen so many memes like, if, if have you ever thought about the fact like if Kabwe wasn't there, where would you pee from? Like on like on your way to the <laughs> Copper Belt or to Lusaka? Like it's that oh, place where you pee. Yeah, where you, you get just it. stop yes, to pee. Yes, you stop all to pee. Yes. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, so Kabwe is like, it's small it's it's a really small town in zambia yeah. yeah so there was no entertainment like i'll just take it from that angle you guys like when i say there was no entertainment mm -hmm. there was no entertainment like no room for like extracurricular activities you know how um excuse me like uni experience when i was growing up when i dreamt of uni i dreamt of like dormitories like these really nice dorms where it's like so clean mm. self-contained like cafeteria food is like really nice you can enjoy it if not like self-cater and cook in your kitchen in your apartment mm. and like you can go bowling with your friends go to the movies like you know all these yeah. fun things like go go into the city center stru strut the streets style. i know Do and then lo and behold i went to Bulungu. <laughs> There was this pub, like tavern, like place called Chibende, and that's where most people got the entertainment from. That's where they were entertained from. Mm. So for me, because I'm not a person, I've never been in a club before, that was not a lifestyle that I grew up doing or being a part of or exercising, whatever it is. Mm. And so for me, I was always in my room, you guys, like always in my room. You get movies from your friends, you get series from your friends. That was basically my life, like mm. on my phone. How was it for you? Well, just like you said, it was a small town. Um, I was at Rhodes University, so Grahamstown is a small student Sorry, yeah. town. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm not even gonna lie, my first thought was I want to just be as far away from home as possible mm. I didn't even know I was going to a student town I just thought wow I'm gonna be provinces away I'll be happy mm. until I got there and I wouldn't say it was horrible mm. because I actually liked um, the fact that everything was in walkable distance uh, though there was no mall like no mall no shop well a shopping center but you, you could you could count what was there. What? The town is surrounded by a cathedral, mm -hmm. and um, there's some stores, but you know they're not as big as your 
stores mm-hmm. in like mm-hmm. bigger cities. I see. So mm-hmm. you get what you get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I liked it because of um like you know there's no pressure to look good. Mm-hmm. I think if I was in mm-hmm. Johannesburg <laughs> and other mm-hmm. cities I'd feel like I have to have mm-hmm. my makeup on fleek. Mm-hmm. I need to mm-hmm. look you could literally walk out looking like a student. You could go through the most and look and your natural true I self. See. I just found a, a group of friends and we would generally like stick in the rooms in residence, watch movies. Mm. Um, there was a botanical garden on the university property, so we would like plan Saturdays to mm. just have picnics, put our music on blast. Mm. Restaurants. In Zambia. In Zambia. Like, okay. Your top re- re- restaurants, top restaurants, the ones you find people frequent or are just mainly popular amongst everyone. Mm, I think of late people have been liking the, um, like people my age, we're speaking for people our age, eh? Yeah. Mm, I think they've been liking the Rockamama kind of vibes. You know, like the restaurants that are in that group. In that group. So yeah. where you can go, you can have good food, but it's kind of on a budget. But mm. at the same time, it's um, it's not like cheap, but it's like in the middle there. It's not like mm. you know where you go and you have to be dressed up. Like you know, it's one of those where you can go and just have some ribs. Mm. So people are liking those restaurants, those where they have burgers and like you know different kind of drinks. But other than that, fast food, we're still loyal to Hungry Lion, Nando's. <laughs> We still don't have McDonald's, and I don't think McDonald's should come to Zambia. What? We'll just ruin it. I think it's more of, um, if you, I, have you been to KFC in Zambia? I actually haven't. You haven't? We the haven't time you gone. came last time, I think that was when they just came yeah, to Zambia. Yeah, they just came, yeah. But guys, like, they failed to thrive here. <clears throat> I don't, maybe it's our taste buds are different. I'm not very sure, but... I don't think it's the same as KFC in South Africa. Mm. The fries, I don't think the fries are the same. Oh, steers. Our steers, burgers here, they're not the they're best. They're not the best. Nope. Fries? How are the fries here? Then I don't even remember them. I don't think <gasps> they're... Yeah. Steers fries are the best in SA. For real? Like, top rated. Yeah, because I don't even... They're top rated fly, fry, flies. <laughs> so I'd love... McDonald's remain like special to the people who eat it in the countries they're in mm. and I just think let's not Zambianize McDonald's. In SA it's pretty much the same thing you're saying like the the restaurants like Rockamama's is definitely booming for people our age and yeah it's just the fact that you can go there dressed as you want uh, there's no pressure I really like places where there's no pressure mm. like I like to look glam but I don't want to do too much sometimes I just want to chill mm. be in some jeans and mm-hmm. a top um, McDonald's is really great for the moments where you don't have much money um, I had Nando's yesterday and I can say safely say Nando's here and Nando's in SA we are better? No. Oh, it's the same? Same. Oh, great. Are, oh, yeah, no, not guys. Nando's Zambia. doesn't disappoint, honestly. Relationships. <laughs> oh. Let's start with you this time. <laughs> I don't know what to say. My experience is based off of, I've grown up Zambian, mm-hmm. but I'm in South Africa. Mm. So the way I, relationship, I can say is, I look for people who have like-minded values and most times I find myself with a foreign man. I think, I think, this is just a general perception, South Africa. Mm-hmm. I think that um, the, the marriage, the marriage culture, like, cause I believe in dating to marry. I feel the marriage culture is something that isn't um, as popular mm-hmm. as it is in other countries. I see, people don't like to get married there. People don't, they believe in what they call fat and sit. So you basically just become girlfriend and boyfriend and you cohabit. I see. They're really mm. comfortable with that. And that in itself already lets me feel like I can't, I can't relationship with someone like that because I the see. only way I will I live it. with someone mm. is when I'm married. So, yeah. I get you. Uh, definitely. So there's the blesser culture as well. Which <laughs> Blesser culture? Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. Basically, your you sugar baby, sugar daddy relationships. And it's very normalized. Side chicks. Like it's it's people are desensitized to it. Like they're okay with the idea of being in a relationship with someone and knowing that they have someone on the side. Which I personally will knock a girl out. (laughs) (laughs) We do believe, like, 
I've, like ish, almost every weekend there's like at a least wedding. three people getting married seriously <laughs> <laughs> and then you kind of think like oh maybe three of the people on my whatsapp stories are at the same wedding nope it's all different weddings like guys people are always getting married i think something i'm grateful for is we have very few people like together for let's say 10 years just cohabiting that's a good yeah thing. we don't and but i know we have those people who cohabit before marrying like they do want to marry but we, we haven't yet adopted that culture where people just cohabit forever like yeah. even start families and mm. you just cohabit no like thank goodness that is not a thing here the only difference then with regard to homosexuality in relationships mm. it's not as common here yet we are not I, I when i talk to people who know about homosexuality maybe because i'm home most of the time mm. but it seems they have their communities they so do. they know themselves mm. and they know so maybe it's kind of prevalent in their areas and their among their there, people yeah. but from where i am standing in the comfort of my parents home it's not something that's as common people still don't they are not comfortable coming out like that it's mainly just gossip or you hear like oh have you heard this guy is gay something's not in the wrong direction something is no, in the right uh, direction yeah. Thanks, girl. We appreciate it. You really are. Because we're going through the most. No, you guys so, don't even look it. Yeah. You know when they say... we're one-to-one. Exactly. Run to one to one. One to one. Welcome, girl. Although it's a bad thing. It's but, not a great know, thing, no, guys. Not. Come on, Essay. Let's step it up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but thank you so you're much. You're doing amazing. Thank you, girl. You're doing amazing, Zambia. You too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you really enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to her channel. Yes, please, guys. I've left everything in the description box below. And um, I'll see you in my next video. As always, be awesome. Bye. Bye.